Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we're looking at the 2012 release of Bitches Brew from Dogfish Head. This was a previous release in 2011. This is, uh, was brewed to commemorate the 40th anniversary of Miles uh, Davis's album's Bitches Brew, obviously. 9% Imperial Stout. Actually, it's three parts Imperial Stout, one part Honey Beer, as they describe on the label. Previously, when I had this beer, I wasn't a huge fan. You know, I thought it was very middle of the road, safe. Um, but that was a while ago, so see if my palate's changed. Let me get this one into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Dogfish Head Bitches Brew. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Bitches Brew, it's an absolutely beautiful looking stout. You know, it pours a dark, dark black, that motor oil black um, that we typically describe Imperial Stouts as. There's a beautiful two to three finger of a off-white khaki, a mocha colored head on there, really, really sticking around. Um, lots of lacing on this one, big, big bubbles on the lacing on this one. Definitely getting some alcohol legs. I uh, would expect that from an Imperial Stout. Yeah, it's just a really, really nice looking stout. Guys, the aroma on the bitches brew. Yeah, again, classic Imperial Stout, coffee and baker's chocolate right up front, a touch of like an espresso type of flavor. Big roasted quality in this one, a big kind of dry roasted note. A kind of sweet, fruity, estery kind of smell, definitely from the yeast. A little bit of a sugary sweetness, possibly from the honey. Yeah, it's just a really nice smelling Imperial Stout. All right, guys, the taste on the Bitches Brew. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, again, classic taste right at the front of the tongue. Immediately here with a bitterness from a dark chocolate, a baker's chocolate, lots of coffee characteristics right at the front of the tongue. Middle of the mouth, kind of a slight residual sweetness, and then bam, you're hit with this big kind of dry, roasted character. Lots of chocolate and coffee in the, in the mouth as well. Super, super dark chocolate. The, you know, the finish on this one isn't very sweet at all. I'd say it's actually almost dry. Uh, aftertaste, more chocolate, more, you know, coffee in there as well. More of that roasted character. The roasted character is really just kind of lingering throughout the entire mouth, just coating the mouth. Got a lot of mouthfeel to it. I will give it that. You know, brewing with part of a honey beer, I'm wondering if that's what it is. There's a nice kind of a very, very light sweetness. And yet I'm wondering if that's from the honey as well. But as far as an Imperial Stout goes, it's, you know, it's very, very well crafted. But for dogfish head beer, you know, it's very middle of the road and very safe. So, you know, it has the best of both worlds. It's just a, a really easy to drink, well crafted Imperial Stout. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Miles Davis Bitches Brew from Dogfish Head, 9% alcohol by volume, available now. It is a limited release. This is the second release, so who knows if they're going to release it again. Guys, I'm going to give this one a B plus. You know, taking into account how extreme dogfish head beers can be and how sometimes they just go over the top of the flavors. I think they really reined this one in and just brewed a really, like I said before, a well-crafted Imperial Stout. All the flavors you look for are there, the coffee, the dark chocolate, the dry roasted character, but then they add that honey component into it, which is really the dogfish twist on it. And it's not extreme at all. It's just a very slight kind of underlying sweetness that helps to accent the actual overall beer itself. Really, really a nice, easy to drink, Again, well-crafted Imperial Stout at 9% alcohol by volume. Check it out if you haven't had it. Just don't be prepared to be blown away like I think a lot of people are by this beer. Um, there's a lot of great Imperial Stouts out there. This is a well-crafted example of one, but it's not one of the grades. Just a very, very solid offering from Dogfish Head. So with that said, remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.